My name is Arthur Huang. I'm an architect, engineer, and National Geographic explorer. I'm in Singapore to find out how the country is fighting the challenge of climate change and striving towards a zero waste future. We love our electronic items. In Singapore, roughly 60,000 tons of e-waste is generated every year. When electronic waste is actually not disposed properly, heavy metal might actually leach into soil and water. And this is horrible because they permanently destroy and chemically pollute everything it touches. So we know e-waste is a problem. What can we do about it? First, we can try to repair instead of immediately replacing. That's a real key. And there are communities in Singapore which are coming together to learn how to repair electronic items. There's no magic trick in trying to be sustainable. The simplest way is to reduce, reuse, recycle. The blue recycling bin in Singapore are not designed for e-waste recycling. These e-waste recycling bins is where e-waste is supposed to go. Every time I step in the lab, I get really excited because you see possibility of what's coming. Can you tell me a little bit about what the SCARES lab is all about? This lab was set up to actually look at innovative research solutions to extract elements from e-waste. What are electronic waste? You have a pile of it now. For example, okay. used lithium-ion batteries, okay. Okay. printed circuit boards, and polymers that are used in packaging. They have a complex mixture of metals, organics, and inorganics that yeah. can be recovered. Everything we do today to power our digital lifestyle requires some sort of battery. And this has a life cycle. It needs to be recycled. So resource recovery from batteries is very important. Yeah. To recover one ton of lithium, you have to mine almost 750 tons of lithium chloride yeah, yeah. or 250 tons of lithium carbonate. By recycling, only 28 tons of recycled battery is enough to get one ton of lithium. Wow, so yeah. that's like 10 times more efficient. Exactly. The battery went from a solid to a liquid, and it's going to turn into a new paste that pays into this new film that turns to a battery. We start with waste batteries on yeah. one hand, and we extract the elements and we make new batteries with new, co with new yeah. coating and new yeah. materials. Yeah, so that's the novelty of this lab. Great. E-waste is actually potentially one of the most polluting and also potentially most rewarding side of circular economy. In the future, all the technology you see here will become the new norm. This is going to create more jobs and more opportunities for this technology to develop.